Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see Cube Apps, which is a web based UI for deploying and managing applications in the Kubernetes clusters. I am in the official page of Cube Apps, which is cubeapps.com, and Cube Apps is a Vietnamese project. Using Cube Apps, you can deploy multiple Kubernetes applications in the form of Helm charts across various clusters in various namespaces. So here uh, what they're saying is Cube Apps is a web based UI for deploying and managing applications. And these are some of the features using Cube Apps. You can deploy your favorite Helm charts and operators across multiple clusters. And you can also use various namespaces and you can have access to multiple clusters directly from the UI. That means you can select the right context and deploy the applications without having to go to the command line interface to set the proper context and to switch to the different namespaces and cube apps also supports various authentication authorizations mechanisms such as rbac oauth2 etc to log in into the cube apps dashboard and it also supports multiple uh, uh, clusters as we already talked about and let's go to the documentation so this is the documentation of cube apps so before proceeding further let's see what are the clusters available with us i already have my minikube cluster up and running so if i just check the minikube status so this is the minikube status currently the minikube is up and running and if i just the check the all the pods so currently there are no pods in the default namespace so i am in the cube apps official documentation so i'll click on getting started so the cube apps can be installed using a helm repository so first what i have to do is i have to add the bitnami repository create a namespace called cube apps and then install it so let's first uh, add the repository so first what i'll do is i'll first add the repository so which is helm repo add bitnami and uh, the name of the url so once the repository is added first we have to run an update using helm repo update so i'll run helm repo update to update the repository so once the repository is updated i can go to the official documentation and just use this command to create a namespace which is cube apps so let's execute com uh, this command kubectl create namespace cube apps and then we'll be installing a uh, cube apps uh, it is helm install cube apps which is basically a release name and then i'm releasing in the cube apps namespace and this is the name of the chart so let's copy this complete command and then install it so here cube apps is deployed and in order to access it from the browser so i have to use kubectl port forward so without kubectl for port forward i can also access if i change the service type to node port but first let's check the status of ports and service by using kubectl get uh, pod and service so basically we have used cube apps as the namespace so we have to search in cube apps namespace so currently all the containers are in the creation state and also here uh, cube app service which is uh, the main dashboard service it is of type cluster ip so what we'll do is first we'll edit this service using kubectl edit and copy this complete command under cube apps namespace so a uh, text editor will be open so here i'll change it to node port save this file and then close it so if you are on linux so vi editor will be open you have to make the modifications and change uh, sorry save and exit so here if i have to check the pod and service status again some of the uh, pods are in running status but here the service is changed to node port and the node port value is 3106 so let's wait till all the pods will be up and then we'll try to access the UI from the browser and in order to get the IP of the minikube cluster so I have to run minikube IP so this is the minikube IP followed by the port number which is 3106 will get me access to the cube apps so now uh, all the ports are in running state so what I'll do is I'll go to the browser and then try to open the cube apps web ui it is 3106 so this is the dashboard so first i have to get the api token so i'll go to the official cube apps documentation so here i have to create a demo credential in which uh, using which i can access cube apps so i have to generate this secret using this particular command over here so first i'll run this command 
so before that i have to create the uh, service account and then cluster role and cluster role binding so let's co copy both these commands and then execute in the minikube cluster and once these are executed i can retrieve the password by uh, using kubectl get secret so this is the token so all we have to do is copy this token and then go to the dashboard and then paste this token over here click on submit so this is a uh, cube app so if you check the application catalog so here these are all the repositories and the and their catalog so if you want to install any of these so i can directly click on any of the application and i can install so let's say that i have to install wordpress so simply i can search for wordpress and this is the wordpress so if i just click on uh, wordpress so this is the complete uh, documentation so now i have to select the appropriate version from here and then i can click on deploy over here so before deploying let's explore various other options so if i go to the main page so here currently there are no applications uh, running in my cluster and i can also switch to all namespaces so in all the namespaces we only have the cube apps which is currently deployed so now if i have to add any of uh, any of the repositories so i can just go to uh, i can click on these dots over here and click on app repositories so this is the app repository so currently bitnami helm chart repositories added so if i have to add a new custom repository so i have to click on add repository so uh, before adding repository let's go back to the catalog and search for a package known as traffic which is an ingress controller so here we don't have any traffic yet so in order to install traffic let's go to the official documentation so let's search for install traffic using helm so this is the official documentation so i can just go to the, i can click on this use the helm chart and this is the helm repository which i need so i'll just copy the helm repository go to cube apps and click on these dots add repositories add repository so if you are and one more thing before adding the repositories so this is the current context so if you click on the current context so there is a default uh, cluster and there is a default namespace so if you click on this this is the default namespace and then this is the uh, uh sorry that, that is a default cluster and this is the default namespace so i can switch to any of the namespaces and at the same time i can also change the namespace or create the namespace over here so if i click on this namespace so i can create a namespace like i can create something like traffic submit so i can now i am now in the traffic namespace so first i'll go back to the default so this is how you create and switch context now let's go to uh, add repositories and then click on add app repository so the name of this repository is traffic repository and this is the url uh, basically this is the url so i have to remove helm repo add the rest of the command and this is the repository url so description you can just put it as traffic and this is the helm repository uh, basically this is a public repository so no author authorization is needed so these are the various authorization informations you can also add new credentials information and docker registry credentials etc here so click on install repo so now repo is uh, basically added so these are namespace repositories so here this repository is added to the default only so that means this uh, these applications can only be uh, installed in the default namespace so now if i go to the application catalog and search for something known as traffic so now here uh, i'll get a uh, traffic ingress controller so if i just click on it so i can directly deploy it from here so now i don't want to deploy this so i'll go back to the catalog first let's try to deploy wordpress so i'll search for wordpress click on install so now uh, in order to deploy i have to select the version so i'll be selecting the latest version and i'll be clicking on deploy so once you click on deploy so the basic uh, yaml uh, values.yaml file will be shown so there are various formats so i can just see it as a form or else i can directly modify the yaml file and i can see the changes which i have done so for this release name i have to give the release here so this is the test release so i am giving test as the release name and now let's say that in the yaml file i wanted to change the service type of 
this WordPress from load balancer or cluster IP if I wanted to change it to Noteport, I have to change it here so for this I have to search for service and this is a service by default is it is a load balancer so I'll change it to Noteport so now once you change it to Noteport and switch to changes tab you are going to see that change and also in the form wise also you can change so this is the username uh, this is the password admin uh, email so all these will be used for the wordpress now the persistent volume size i can change it to from 10 to 15 so everything can be co configured directly from the form and also directly you can do it in the yaml so now if you click on the changes there should be two changes one is in the service type and one is the persistent volume type so for the persistent volume type i will revert it back to 10 because i don't have so much of space in my local machine and then i have to click on deploy so if you click on deploy so the helm, uh, helm release will be initiated and now the status of pod will be shown here so basically there are two pods one is the wordpress and the other one is the maria db and here directly the chart uh, if the chart is using any secrets so the secrets will be populated directly over here so there is no need to go to the terminal and then check the secrets again and if you want to roll back to the earlier version so i can just click on the roll back and select the proper revision version and then i can also upgrade if there is any new release or if you modified some uh, some values in the yaml files and also i can delete the release by clicking on the delete hole so let's see first the status of the pods both the pods are still in the creation state so now the both the pods are in the running state so now in order to go to the wordpress so i can just scroll to the bottom of the page so here you can see all the deployments stateful sets the secrets the services and any other resources that are deployed through the helm chart so if you click on the services so there is this wordpress which is of type noteport and the noteport value is 32660 so i can just go to 32660 to go to the wordpress site 32660 and this is the wordpress blog and now if i have to go to the admin dashboard so i can just click on the admin so this will take me to the admin dashboard so from here i can log in and i can check so even the login credentials are directly given here so here the login is basically user is the username and password is this secret which is basically a test wordpress secret so which i can just get it from here so i can just copy this uh, token over here or password so i can just paste that uh, password and then i'll be able to log in into my wordpress so now if you have to delete this or roll back i can use any of these tabs so i have to uninstall this so i'm just clicking on delete so this will basically go into delete but if i just click on the catalog or uh, if i switch to applications so i can directly see the total number of applications that are deployed so this is the app name and this is the package and the the state is currently deployed so i can just click on this so if you want to make any modification so i can just make modifications here and i can do rest of this stuff and then if i have to click on this upgrade so this is going to upgrade so that means i have to select the uh, appropriate changes so then this will be uh, upgraded so if i go to yaml and then look for the service type so basically from node port to i'll be changing it to cluster ip and see how it is reflecting so here from type to cluster uh, node port i'll be changing it to cluster ip and then i'll click on deploy so once i deploy so the service time is going to be uh, changed so the application is uh, go, uh, is upgraded so in order to see if the service type is changed or not so i can click on the services basically this is reverted to the cluster ip so i can also verify the same by using kubectl get svc so here the wordpress type is changed to cluster ip so now if i have to roll back i can just click on the roll back so here it is asking me the revision version so i'll select the first revision and click on roll back so after it is rolled back the service type has to be changed from cluster ip to node port so now i'll click on delete to delete this release so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one